Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into the Royal Navy's Type 31 frigate, also known as the Inspiration Class, a cutting-edge warship that's revitalizing Britain's naval capabilities and making waves on the global stage. If you're a naval enthusiast, a military tech buff, or just curious about the ships shaping modern maritime defense, you're in for a treat. Designed to replace the aging Type 23 frigates, the Type 31 is a versatile general-purpose vessel built for everything from maritime security to counter-piracy and naval fire support, all while being cost-effective and export-friendly. Based on the Arrowhead 140 design, a derivative of Denmark's Ivor Heitfeld class, this frigate is a testament to the United Kingdom's national shipbuilding strategy, blending advanced technology with modular adaptability. We're going to break down its capabilities in detail, give you a full technical rundown, and cover the latest news as of September 7, 2025, including its production milestones and growing export success. So grab a snack, get comfy, and let's sail into everything you need to know about the Type 31 frigate. The Type 31's capabilities make it a standout in modern naval warfare, designed to handle a wide range of missions while keeping costs low and flexibility high. At its core is a BAE Systems 57mm Mark III main gun, a versatile medium-caliber weapon capable of engaging sea, air, and land targets with high-precision rounds, effective up to 17 kilometers against surface threats and 8 kilometers against aerial ones. This is backed by two Saab Bofors 40mm Mark IV guns for close in defense against small boats, drones, or missiles, plus multiple 12.7mm heavy machine gun mounts for additional firepower against light targets. The frigate's air defense is anchored by MBDA's Sea Scepter System, a cold launch missile platform with a range of 25 kilometers, capable of intercepting aircraft, missiles, and drones in a 360 degree envelope. Later ships, starting potentially with the third in class, HMS Formidable, will integrate a 32-cell Mark 41 vertical launch system, enabling the use of advanced missiles like the Tomahawk Block 4 for land strikes or the future cruise-slash-anti-ship weapon for surface engagements, significantly boosting lethality, as noted in recent naval technology reports. The Type 31's modular design is a game-changer, featuring mission bays that can house mine-hunting drones, humanitarian aid supplies, or rigid-hulled inflatable boats launched via a stern ramp, making it adaptable for tasks from disaster relief to anti-submarine warfare with future upgrades like Thales' Captas Toad array sonar. The frigate's sensor suite is equally impressive, centered on Thales NS-110 four-dimensional multi-beam active electronically scanned array radar, which tracks multiple targets in air and surface domains with high accuracy, even in cluttered environments. This is complemented by Thermoscanter and Anschutz NSX navigation radars, Mirador Mark II electro-optical tracking sensors, and an Artemis 360 Naval Infrared Search and Track System providing robust situational awareness. The Thales Tacticos Combat Management System, with its open architecture, integrates these sensors with weapons for rapid threat response, while a Synapsis Naval Integrated Navigation and Bridge System ensures precise maneuvering. A ultra-high frequency satellite communication system keeps the ship connected for secure voice and data, critical for joint operations with allies. The Type 31's hangar and flight deck support a Wildcat helicopter or a 10-ton helicopter like the Merlin, plus unmanned aerial vehicles, enhancing reconnaissance and strike capabilities. With a crew of 105, 50% fewer than the Type 23's 185, and space for 40 additional personnel, it's lean manned yet versatile, addressing the Royal Navy's recruitment challenges. Mobility-wise, the Type 31 is powered by four MTU-20V-8000M71 diesel engines, each producing over 8,000 kilowatts, delivering a top speed exceeding 26 knots and a range of 7,500 nautical miles, ideal for long deployments in regions like the Indo-Pacific or Middle East. Its 138.7-meter length, 20-meter beam, and 5,700 to 7,000 ton displacement provide stability and space for upgrades, with structural seats for future systems like the Mark 41 vertical launch system already built in. The operational flow is seamless, the NS-110 radar detects threats, Tacticos assigns targets, and the crew engages with guns or missiles, while the Accor Active Protection System, planned for later variants, counters incoming threats. 
the ship can reposition quickly, launch helicopters for surveillance, or deploy drones from its mission bay, making it a multi-role workhorse for tasks like escort duties, counterterrorism, or intelligence gathering. The latest news as of September 7, 2025, shows the Type 31 program hitting major milestones. Babcock International, the prime contractor, is building all five frigates, HMS Venturer, Active, Bulldog, Campbelltown, and Formidable, at its Roseth facility in Scotland under a £1.25 billion contract awarded in November 2019. HMS Venturer, the lead ship, was rolled out from the Assembly Hall in May 2025 and floated for the first time in June, with its foremast installed by August per recent Naval News updates. It's now undergoing outfitting for sea trials in 2026, with service entry expected in late 2026 or early 2027 due to slight delays. HMS Active's keel was laid in September 2023, and HMS Formidable's keel was turned in February 2025, marking the start of its engine room construction, with steel cut for Formidable in October 2024. All five ships are set to be operational by 2030, with Campbelltown as the final delivery. A £65 million contract awarded in April 2025 ensures a capability insertion period for all ships, adding upgrades like the Mark 41 vertical launch system post-delivery to enhance combat power per naval technology. The program supports 1,250 jobs across the United Kingdom, plus 150 apprenticeships, boosting the economy, as noted in Babcock's May 2025 statement. The Type 31's export success is also turning heads. Based on the Arrowhead 140 design, it's been sold to Indonesia for two Fregat Meraputi ships in September 2021 and to Poland for three Witcher-class frigates in March 2022, with both nations building them locally under license. Recent reports indicate advanced talks with Denmark and Sweden for additional orders, following Norway's five-type 26 frigate deal, signaling a British warship export boom. The frigate's 13.75 million pound unit cost, 250 million pounds per ship, makes it a budget-friendly alternative to the pricier Type 26, which costs 8 billion pounds for eight ships. Challenges include delays from the initial 2023 in-service target and the need for post-delivery upgrades. But the Royal Navy's decision to base all five ships in Portsmouth, confirmed in April 2025, ensures operational readiness. The Type 31's blend of firepower, advanced sensors, and modular design makes it a versatile, cost-effective warship ready to project British power globally while inspiring export markets. So, what do you all think about the Type 31 frigate? Are you hyped about its capabilities, excited for its export potential, or curious about its role in the Royal Navy's future? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, Share it with your friends who love naval tech, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more deep dives into the systems shaping our world. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.